Kimberly, how you doing? I'm doing well. How you been? Great, thank you. Uh, Dan, with Family Heritage, uh, you got the cancer plan for me. Yes. You and Louie got it, I think, uh, uh, late last year. Yes, we did. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I just wanted to stop by and catch up with you guys. I've got some of the information on your plan. Just want to kind of catch up. I was back in town, so uh, you know, it's been a while since I've been out here from Austin. But uh, I've only got a few minutes. I'm trying to kind of go through and catch up with a lot of folks out here. Did I catch you real busy right now? No, I'm fine. There's a awesome. time. Thanks. So how have you guys been? Great. Kids are good? Busy, yes. That's awesome. Well. Yeah, I remember, uh, I remember last time I was here, Louie was, uh, was he, is he still te teaching uh, jiu-jitsu? Yes. How's, uh, are the kids involved with that too? Only one of them, my oldest. Okay. And the, uh, what's the other one do? Cheerleading and volleyball right now. And the baby just being the baby. How old's the baby now? Six. <laughs> just trying to get the baby. Yeah, she's say, six. I was going to say. I don't know if you, did you, uh, did you get to get my car? Yes, we did. Okay, that's yes, awesome. Yes, we did. It's not in the fridge, is it? It's actually, it actually is. All right, I love it. I'll take a picture before I go. That was gonna say because my little one, she's uh, she's just about to be a year and a half, and so yeah, I get so giddy. So I, I, one of my customers was asking me, she's like, "Why do you always send a picture with the baby on it? I gotta send the whole family, I think, at some point." Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Yeah, well, that's kind of good. Do you guys uh, do you guys ever make it up to Austin? No, we don't. Now I was gonna say, uh, Louis, I, I remember him with the jujitsu because mm -hmm. you know he's such a big guy. But I forgot, what do you uh, what do you do out here? I uh, teach aerobics. Are you really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. It's, uh, the whole family's really involved uh, athletically. Yes, you that's, have to be. That's cool. Well, basically, you know, kind of like I mentioned at the door, what, I, what I'm doing out here is uh, I'm just kind of going over uh, some of the details of your program that you guys picked up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, now that you have it, I want you to know how to use it. Okay. Um, like I said, there's a lot of things with the program that will actually work even if you don't um, ever go through cancer, which, you know, God forbid, I hope you guys never do. Mm -hmm. But I just want you guys to be aware of how the programs work, and if you ever need anything, you know, I just always want to kind of check in with you when I'm in town. That way, if you guys have something that comes up, I can answer questions. Okay. Okay. So first, let me kind of go over a little bit on the program with you, so you know what you've got here. And let me kind of bounce this open here. So um, what you guys ended up getting uh, was the Elite Cancer Plan, mm -hmm. and that was on you, Louie, and the kids. Correct. Okay. And um, a couple things that, uh, I don't know if you remember, the plan that you guys picked up is actually, uh, it kind of works like a savings plan. Mm -hmm. So you remember every dollar you guys are putting yes. in, you're gonna get back, mm -hmm. okay? And right now, um, you guys are, are getting, uh, you guys are paying $101, and it's coming out of the first of every month. Correct. Okay. A couple things that are great about that, I want you to remind you of. If anything ever does happen, you can file as many claims as you ever need to, and we can't raise that rate even a dollar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the rate will always stay the same. Um, and we can't drop you for any reason. So that's one of the nice things about the program. Uh, once you're in it, you have total control over it. Okay. Okay. The other thing I want to remind you, if you guys got the elite, um, and you got the elite cancer plan, and you got the elite ICU on you, Louie, and the whole family. So basically, uh, the, the intensive care and the cancer plan. And I'll explain how the ICU works as well. Okay. But uh, if nothing changed, if you guys keep it at, the, at that top level that you guys have, and nothing changed from now until, you know, uh, what it, it does is we pay you all that money back after 25 years or at age 65, whatever comes first. Okay, in your case, it would obviously be 25 years. Mm -hmm. um, basically, if nothing changes, what you're going to get back is you're going to be getting back about $31,400. Wow. Isn't that awesome? That's a lot of money. That is awesome, yeah. And it's tax free. Even better. Okay, so when you get that money back, whether or not you guys file any claims or anything, and I'm going to take you through this, um, your protection will continue till the day you die. Okay, the, the price will actually go down a little bit because uh, that return premium benefit will be okay. right? And, um, and, and again, you'll be paying the same thing as you did when you signed up a year ago. Is that cool? Mm, that is cool, excuse me. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so the plans actually have three levels, okay? okay? And you guys are on the top level, you have the maximum benefit. Um, but just so you know how they work, there's a standard, there's a preferred, and there's an elite. All the plans are awesome, they're great, okay? They cover all the exact same things. The difference is that your plan, the elite plan, will pay triple what that standard plan pays. Mm -hmm. Okay, the preferred plan pays double, but you guys are, like I said, on the top plan. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason I say this is because if you guys ever have any kind of issues financially or if something comes up, because it's a savings plan, you, you obviously want to keep that plan. It's just building value every year. So if something did ever come up, instead of having to drop it, you can call me and you can just lower the plan to a lower level. So you can actually roller coaster this plan whenever you want. The only time that you can't increase the plan is if you know if somebody in the family were to go through cancer, 
that point you can't bring it up. Okay. But again, it's nice because at, at least you'd have some kind of coverage if that ever came up. Okay. But in your case, you guys obviously have it, you know, the way it is right now. So the other thing I want to share with you on the plan is that um, the way that the benefits work, uh, every time, and this is why you guys got it, you know, your normal insurance, and I don't remember who you guys had. Blue Cross Blue Shield. Okay. Was it like an 80-20 plan? Yes. Okay. So, and Blue Cross Blue Shield is, is hands down, I mean, they're the best. Okay. But if you were to ever go to anything, you know, cancer related or something serious like that puts you in intensive care, they're not going to pay you guys a penny. Okay. Mm -hmm. What they're going to do is they're going to pay the doctors and hospitals, right? And you guys are going to have to come out of pocket also, right, for deductibles or 20% mm -hmm. of all the costs. So um, everything that we pay you comes to you so that you guys can keep the lights on, you know, keep food on the table, gas in the car. That's the whole reason you have this plan. Okay. So you guys sign up for, I mean, it's a, a brilliant decision to get it. I'm not trying to sell you on it, you already have it. Mm -hmm. But it's really great that you guys got it because a lot of people don't have that protection and they don't realize that they need it until they go through something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think that's great. But if something were to ever happen, okay, if you or Lori or the kids were to go through any kind of cancer, what we do is we pay you what's called a first occurrence benefit. Okay. okay, that's just a big chunk of cash we give you right away. Okay, on your plan right now, it would be a $3,000 benefit. Okay. Now, if you guys were to go through anything like prostate cancer or uh, breast cancer, those are the most common, we actually would pay you 50% more, so you'd get a, a first benefit of $4,500 just on the diagnosis. Okay. Now, do you remember why we give you so much just on the diagnosis? Mm -mm, I don't. I don't remember. Why, why do you think we would give such a big amount of money? Probably because I'm going to be out of work for a little bit. Huge, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, who knows what the situation is, but you know, if you found out you had cancer in a long life, it kind of change, right? Big time. Okay. So that money we give you is really money that we make available so you can take time off work, see a specialist, pay deductibles, right? Just help out with some of those immediate costs. Mm -hmm. um, we even do that if it's uh, skin cancer. Now another thing I should share with you is uh, one of the reasons we have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, that money that we send you, we don't uh, send a check in the mail. We actually put that money directly into your bank account, so you have access to it right away. Okay. That's cool, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, by the way, all of our plans work that way. You know, we have a, a heart plan, I don't know if I showed it to you. Um, we have an accident plan, we have life insurance, and they all actually work the exact same way. Um, uh, I could actually show you those if you have an interest after I finish up with this. I would, be a good sales guy if I didn't have something to pitch you on, right? I guess not. <laughs> but, okay. but if you have an interest, I can show you that after I finish here. But, okay. Um, but all those plans work the exact same way, and they have the different levels too, so you can actually roller coaster them. But the great thing about this plan is that um, if something more serious happens, let's say cancer related, that puts you in the hospital, your plan, Kimberly, will pay you guys $450 per day every day you're in the hospital, even if Blue Cross paid every dollar. Hmm. Think about that. Most people don't even make $450 a day, hmm. right? So if you went in the hospital and Blue Cross paid everything, you'd actually get that 450 a day. If you were in there for 10 days, that'd be $4,500 cash that we would pay you, even if Blue Cross paid everything. That would help with some bills, wouldn't it? Okay. If you were in there for 1,000 days, we'd actually pay you $450,000 in cash. Okay. There's no caps. So one of the things I want you to just remember is that the way that we pay you, it continues to come in. So the worse it is for you and your family, the more we're gonna do for you. Okay. Again, I mean, it's just great that you have it. It always makes me feel good when People have made a decision that gets them that kind of coverage. Okay. And I'm not going to go through every benefit, but I just want you to remember the, the kind of the key points. Okay. okay. If you go through something like cancer, it's like popping on a light switch. Okay. If anything that's cancer related, we're pretty much going to pay towards almost everything. Okay. We'll pay you towards your ambulance, um, every surgery and anesthesia, second opinions, um, even things like prosthetics. Believe it or not, we'll pay towards a wig. Okay. Bone marrow. Um, a really big one is chemo and radiation. As a matter of fact, we'll pay, on your plan, we pay $300 every time you go in for a chemo or radiation treatment, even if you never step from the hospital. Wow. Okay, everybody's seen Breaking Bad, right? You can have those outpatient chemo treatments. Yes. Okay, and by the way, if you go in the hospital, we'll pay you the $450 a day plus the $300. Okay, that can make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, it's covered things like anti-nausea drugs, special treatments, but a really big one, and one of the ones I want to ask you about, um, are you pretty good about getting your annuals? Yes, I already have Okay, have you sent any of those in? Have no, you I haven't. Them? Okay, do you, do you remember that the plan will pay you up to $150 per person per year for getting your annuals? I do now. <laughs> I remember well, now. <laughs> well, that's one of the reasons I want to step by and see you. A lot of people forget, so it's kind of my job to make sure that you're up to date with that. Can we still file? Mm -hmm. There's no limit. Okay. If you'd have this plan for 10 years and you hadn't filed once, you could actually go all the way back to year one. Oh, wow. And we'll pay. Yeah, there's no time. As long as you're covered under the time, we'll pay for it just to make sure you're being healthy, right? 
So, for example, if you get if you get a MAM and a PAP every year, mm -hmm. those two will actually max you out. You get one hundred fifty dollars back just for getting those done. And you don't need a cover page. You don't need a uh, you don't need anything. So before I leave, what I'll do is I'm, I'm going to give you my information so you've got it updated. But I'll leave you the fax number as well. Just fax it in the company, and they'll usually have that in your account within a week. Okay. Right. Great. By the way, um, and I know this is always a personal decision for families, but have you guys uh, decided whether or not you're going to do the HPV vaccine with the kids? Not yet. Okay. Yeah. If you guys decide to do that, the plan will also pay you $120 per child if you guys decide to do that. Oh, okay. Okay? Something I know it's a personal decision for folks, but if you guys decide, that's, that's a, a nice option to know that's there. Okay, with Louie, it's going to pay towards things more like if he gets a PSA exam, like a blood test, a prostate specific antigen test. Um, you guys aren't doing colonoscopies or anything like that. Yeah, that's still a little early, but it'll pay towards a whole bunch of those, and they're all listed in the, in the policy. Wow. Okay. okay. One of the biggest things, my favorite thing that you guys have in your program is, uh, you know, if something happened to you guys down here in McAllen, you know, you're probably not going to get treated in McAllen, right? No. no. Where would you guys go if something Houston. happened? Houston. Go to MBM? Yes. Okay. I'll tell you, too, there's some other options, too. If something specific happened, like brain cancer, you've got places like a Hutchinson Center in Seattle. Uh, with the kids, I don't know if you're familiar with St. Jude's. Mm -hmm. They live up in Tennessee. Best in the world, right? Uh, I don't know if you remember, but your plan will actually pay for you to go anywhere you want to go with no limits. I do remember that. Okay. This is my favorite part. Okay, we'll pay $3,000 uh, anywhere you want to go. If you want to fly anywhere in the country, if you want to go to New York, Sloan Kettering, and they said, hey, Kimberly, we need you to come back every six weeks for the next three years, we'll pay that same benefit again and again and again and again and again. Okay. We'll even pay you 60 cents a mile which is like $18 a gallon if you drive out to uh, Houston. Wow. Okay. You wouldn't want to go by yourself, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Believe it or not, we pay that same benefit for you to bring uh, Louie with you. You can bring your mom and dad. You can bring your son or daughter, even a brother or sister. Mm -hmm. Even if they don't live here, if they want to fly them out from California, you know, and they're going to meet you out in Houston, we'll fly them out. Okay. And we'll pay $150 a day for you to get a hotel nearby the hospital so they have a place to stay. Mm -hmm. Not a good time to be couch surfing, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Isn't that great? That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. We call that a peace of mind benefit because it gives people the peace of mind to get the care they want, not just what's affordable. Mm -hmm. okay. So that, that, uh, that's how the cancer plan works. Now, you guys also picked up the ICU program. Mm -hmm. And the ICU program is amazing because a lot of people forget that that program covers everything that would put you in the ICU. Okay. It doesn't have to be cancer related. Now, I'm, I'm assuming the answer is going to be no, but have you guys had anything that's put you guys in the ICU last year? No. <clears throat> okay, well, um, we cover everything from uh, literally bronchitis to, you know, uh, spasms, epileptic seizures, right? It could also be, you know, let's say you and Louis, Louis uh, popped out another child and that child ended up in the NICU. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, that baby would be covered from day one. Okay, we pay for every day that they're in there. So what we do is that plan to pay on your plan, it pays $900 a day, up to $27,000 per incident. Okay, and if it's vehicular, uh, car crash, truck crash, something like that. We pay double, 1,800 a day up to 54,000. And there's a ton of other benefits on that. I mean, we pay towards the ambulance, air ambulance. Uh, there's even a small accidental death rider. Mm -hmm. uh, we're on that if something happened. And it's not a huge amount, but it'll pay up to $15,000 per person. Um, and, by, and by the way, I'll let you know, on the ICU plan and our accident plan that I can tell you about, the one I was mentioning earlier, uh, it pays half the amounts for the first because they're not the primary breadwinner. But it still covers them on everything. It even okay. doubles on the uh, on the vehicular. Oh, okay. Okay. And, and you know, I was telling you about the ICU. Um, you know, that fifteen thousand pays towards if something you know were to happen that were to lead to death, mm -hmm. accidental death because of a you know accident. Um, do you guys have your life insurance? Do you guys have it uh, privately owned, or you guys just have it through work? We have both. You have both. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Um, what do you guys have privately? If you don't mind me asking. Um, New York. New York Life? New York okay, it's awesome. That's a great company. As a matter of fact, this is going to be my wife and I use for our, uh, the private insurance that we have as well as family heritage. Um, on, your, uh, on your private insurance, you guys have New York Life. Is it whole life or is it term or what do you guys have? Do you we know? have whole life. You guys have whole life? Mm -hmm. Universal. We have both. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and how much, uh, how much coverage do you guys have on that? We have uh, 150000 Of whole life? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. And do you guys just have it on you and Louie, or do you guys have plans on the kids as well? Just on us, and then we have an accidental for the kids. Accidental. 10000 mm -hmm. Okay, cool. One of the reasons I ask is, and, and I'll tell you, you guys are, are definitely in the small percentage. I think when it comes to life insurance, you guys are covered. Um, 150000 whole life, I think, is, is a fantastic amount, especially if you have additional mm -hmm. life insurance through work. Um, 
Family Heritage just started selling life insurance recently. And uh, our plans are great, but I don't think any of them are anything that you guys would need. Um, but I will tell you, one of the things that we have that you may have a big interest in is we actually now have whole life plans for the children. Oh, wow. Okay, ten and twenty thousand dollars. And the neat thing about these plans is they're kind of like those Gerber plans. Mm -hmm. um, they can't go up in price, just like your supplemental plan you have. They will never change as far as how they, uh, as far as what the kids have to pay. And the cool thing is, in most cases, the kids will never, if they have it till the day they die or go to age one hundred. They'll never even get close to putting in half the amount of what the plan will pay out. Uh -huh. So I can kind of take you through that a little bit, like I said, um, afterwards if you have an interest in it. Okay. But as far as the cancer plan, do you guys have any other questions as far as how it works or, or the plan itself? No. Okay. So let me go ahead. I'm going to write down the information for you, the fax number and all that stuff. And then if you guys have questions on that, you, you know you can always call me, but I want to make sure you get those things in. Okay. 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 I'm going to get that. So, you know, like I was telling you, so the other plans that the company put out, um, which are really neat, Mm -hmm. um, they put out plans because they wanted to have kind of brother-sister plans to the uh, cancer plan that you guys got. And just to let you know, we used to have a heart plan years ago. I didn't really like it because it, it honestly was just kind of too general. Okay. Right? Um, actually, let me take that back. It said the opposite. It was too specific. It's kind of like if you got plasma, it would pay you, or if you got oxygen, it would pay you. Whereas that cancer plan that you've got is awesome because it's so general, right? Mm -hmm. You go in the hospital, it's going to pay. The other thing is, if you think about it, if you guys ever go through cancer, you may never spend a day in the hospital or you may never see the inside of an ambulance. But if you go through a heart attack or a stroke, yeah. right, everything mm -hmm. stops. So the new heart plan that we have is awesome because it is more general. So what I'm going to do is this, Kimberly, I'm going to give you a quick look at those other programs. Okay. Okay, the ones I told you about. If you like them, if you think it'd be good for you and Louie and the kids, great. Um, just like the cancer plan, it's just really simple. It's a little one-page application. But everything is simplified issue. Okay, what that means is, you don't need to see a doctor, you don't need to step on a scale, you don't need to have blood drawn. <clears throat> the only thing that the company requires is that I'm actually here with you when you sign up. Okay. So after I show it to you, if you could just give me, hey, Dan, looks good, sign us up, or hey, we're good with what we got, you know, we're, we're just going to stick with that. Just okay. let me know afterwards. Okay. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the way that the heart plan works is this. It does the stuff that you would hope that a heart plan would do. Okay. It's very general. If you were to get diagnosed with any kind of heart issue, Okay, heart, um, uh, heart uh, attack or a stroke, we're going to automatically give you $3,000 that, again, is the first occurrence benefit. Same as your cancer plan, right? Okay. Now, of course, the first thing they're going to do at that point is they're going to stick you in an ambulance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to pay you towards the ambulance. Okay. Then they take you to the hospital, and they're going to admit you, right? Mm -hmm. So we pay you four fifty dollars a day, again, with no limit. We're going to pay you every day you're in there. Okay. okay, this is where this becomes big is because, again, cancer, you may have a little bit of a, you know, you may not have to go to the hospital or anything like that. With this, since everything stops and puts you in, this money coming in immediately makes a huge difference for families. Mm -hmm. Okay, you may have to get surgery or anesthesia. We'll pay you up to fifteen thousand dollars towards that. When you come home, they don't want you lifting more than five pounds, right? So we pay you towards physical rehabilitation, ninety dollars a day. Okay, so it works just like the cancer plan. Mm -hmm. Can I get that point? Yes. Okay, same travel benefits. Just got a lot of that. Now the other one I told you about was the accident plan, and the way that accident plan works is a little bit different, but the great thing with this plan is it goes towards, if you can put the word accident with something, we'll pretty much going to pay. Okay. Right? Let's say that you're uh, uh, chopping vegetables in the kitchen and you slice your hand open. Mm -hmm. Accident. You know, Louie's out getting stuff in the garage and gets bitten by a spider. Mm -hmm. Accident. You know, get bit by a dog. That's going to be an accident. Um, you know, burn yourself on a compressor or you twist an ankle and end up having to go to the doctor's office. Okay, those are all accidents. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we do, Kimberly, is we pay you towards stuff that Blue Cross is not going to pay you for. Okay. okay. If you go to the doctor's office or a hospital or anything like that, we're going to pay you up to $300 immediately for crutches. Hmm. Is Blue Cross going to pay for crutches? No, my daughter actually had those, had a, a fracture on her hip, so she had to have crutches. Yeah, so this would, this would pay towards that. Um, I mean, even other things, too, tetanus shots or chipped teeth or certain medications that insurance doesn't cover, we're going to pay towards. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you have an accident, then you're going to have to get an x-ray or a CT scan or something. By the way, Blue Cross will pay for that, mm -hmm. but they're going to leave you with some out-of-pocket. So we give you $150 to help with that out-of-pocket. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's say there's something more serious. Believe it or not, we'll pay towards ambulance or air ambulance for any kind of accident okay, that's covered here. Yeah. And of course, if they have to put you in the hospital, we're going to give you $900 the day you're admitted and $450 a day up to a full six months for any accident. Wow. And there's a ton of other benefits in here. I mean, I, can, I could go through a ton of them, but... And you said this one... On this one, is it fifty percent for the kids too? Uh huh. Just like the ICU plan. Yeah, it covers at half those amounts. Mm -hmm. But again, every single thing is covered. 
As a matter of fact, you mentioned that your daughter fractured her hip. Yes. We cover every bone in the body, and you don't even have to break it. You could fracture it. Take a look at this. This is a bigger list. How much does it give you for a fractured hip? Six thousand. Well, it would be three thousand for five. Three thousand, not including the the first, uh, you know, walking into the emergency room, not including the X-rays, not including if she had to go and be admitted to the hospital. Therapy. You know, mm -hmm. those things all tack on on top of it. Okay. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the great thing with this, this and the heart plan, is that you know they're kind of like we've got a kind of a, a trifecta of plans, right? Cancer, heart, and accident are the three main ones. They work exactly the same way as your other plan. So um, the cool thing with this is if you got this plan and you got the life plan, or excuse me, the heart plan, mm -hmm. for you and Louie and all three kids, a lot of people think with these, because accident plans you use all the time, so you're actually filing claims. And the heart plan is to be even more catastrophic than cancer. Yeah. So a lot of people figure that with these plans that they're going to be you know, close to what the cost of health insurance costs, right? Like for you guys, if you guys got private health insurance, you'd be paying anywhere from 800 to $1,200 a month. Mm -hmm. Is that about right? Yes. And you know, number one, your health insurance isn't going to pay you, it's going to pay the doctors. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're going to have a deductible and they're only going to pay a percentage. We're going to pay you directly. Okay? There's going to be no deductibles and we pay you on the first dollar. Okay, the other thing is, if, you know, <laughs> if I take my car down to HB and I get hit by a shopping cart, mm -hmm. I'm probably not going to call Geico because what do they do to my rates? They're going to jack them up, right? You're not going to believe this, but even on that uh, accident plan, Kimberly, we can't raise the rates even $1 no matter how many claims you file. Hmm. How much is this one? That crazy? Well, that's what I was going to tell you. The package with the heart and the accident plan, if you got them both together, you'd be looking at about $180 a month. Okay. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm actually more interested in this one. So this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if you got this for you, Louie, and the kids, you'd be looking at about $105 a month. Okay. Okay. And the cool thing is, like I was mentioning, it's just a really simple application. So basically, all I need to get, and you can see on here, it's just like your cancer plan. I would just get your basic information. Okay. Um, we put the names of the kids down, right? The level of coverage, and the one thing you don't see on here is pre-existing. So, by the way, if she has another accident and she refractures that same head, it's not going to cost you anything else. It, it will literally be 100 percent covered. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. But to get you guys started, let me just get your address now. Do you guys get your mail here at the post office?